So I've been working on this stock prediction system. Uh, previously, I showed an example on YouTube on how it's supposed to work, but it's headed to make it live so I can work on it and uh, it can be running 24 7 and I can basically try and see if the system actually is pretty good at prediction or it's just about average. So, just to give you a brief overview of how it works right now, you have the stock prediction and uh, from this drop down you can select stocks and currently the stocks that you have here are from uh, the New York Stock Exchange so some of them are listed here and it only depends on whether it has been uh, it's coming from a list of stock symbols that stock symbol has been queried for from the API that I'm using and it's returned a positive result and that some of that data has been found to be enough to actually train some uh, machine classifier and after all these clear checks has been completed that's why now it's appended to this list so there's plenty of stocks to choose from here and this is a searchable field so depending if you actually know the name of the company like let's say alphabet be able to filter by it and see the stocks for this company so here you get a, a chart for the stock prices for a period of time so basically you can see the date in mind and how the price fluctuated over this period of time so prior to here as you can see it's still querying on Saturday and Sunday and these are days when the stock exchange is usually closed so I've added a additional clause that usually checks to see whether the stock is currently trading so it first checks whether um, the date is between Monday to Friday if the time trading is between I believe it's 9 to 4 9.30 to 4 p.m. New York time and uh, if it's a holiday in US so if any of these period of times that basically means that stock is in trading it's going to tell you here stock is in trading right now like later it's saying uh, the trading period for the day has ended today is on Tuesday December the time in New York is now 523 and the trading will start at 930 so while this clause is still uh, checked it don't actually still it don't actually try to look for new stock information but when uh, the clause for the time period that it's supposed to trade it's not a holiday and it's not a weekend then it will look for stock trading information as you can see when the stock starts to trade to trade uh, the price varies and as a result here you should get some varying in the price trading so over time you're going to see this working more more over time and you're going to actually see it pronounced on the site and i've been testing this locally on my pc i've just now reached a point where i'm now pushing it to the server so the server may have less evidence of the stock working right now because right now i just want to demonstrate how it look while the stock system is not trading so that you know if you get this text over here you know that basically you're not going to get any activity based on this so down here you get your profit and loss chart and when i start the system uh it starts with about a thousand mock dollars to trade with so basically it decides based on its uh, prediction system whether to buy or sell stocks and based on that you can get basically how much money that you got in total from the cash that you still have to trade on and stock values it varies so additionally here you'd get uh, the down and up arrow so down means it's predicting that the next uh, item is going to be down so basically the stock price will move down or up means that the uh, stock price will move up the last price and the current price bought 
and some more information here so I'm going to cover this later on when the data is now uh, streaming in now when the time period is in between this so I'm going to skip over this for right now and just show one additional thing that actually will be relevant moving forward so here is uh, the data that usually it saves on a CSV file and uh, in this file for AL that's the stock symbol I'm looking at uh, the values that actually it's going to predict so the question in mind would be whether the stock value has moved up or down so one means it moved up zero means it moved down now in this case I haven't added an additional value to check whether the stock value remains uh, didn't change so that would be zero uh, in this case maybe I would have negative one to mean he moved down one means that it moved up and zero didn't change so I'm only dealing with two values but still using these two values I can still design a prediction system and later on there's a number of changes that I actually want to do on this so I just wanted to push it live show it to people so that basically some input will help also guide on the number of changes that I want to push more importantly is there are people who actually do stock trading on a day-to-day -day basis so these are guys who can actually give me input that's going to be useful for this so take for this example the number of the average of uh, one and zeros in this field is 0 0.7 so it means there's a 70 there's a 70 percent chance of getting for well there's the number of ones in this row is 70 percent so based on that even if you are to just randomly guess one always well just give one always you'll always be 70 percent correct so that's one of the biases that you can get with this training data that you're having but this file isn't the one that's being used to train on so there's a pri previous one for training and this one is just basically the data that's just streaming in being saved which may well I intend, I intend to use eventually to gauge the accuracy over time and uh, retrain the model on the actual uh, the accuracy shows to be declining beyond an acceptable level so 50 percent would be a good show that basically it's just as good as guessing so because it's just zeros and one so if it's basically giving getting around 50 percent accuracy over time it means it's basically not better than actually guessing so at this point uh, I just want to see how it works over time so that's why I wanted to push it and make it live and since I'd already shown a blog uh, written a blog, uh, blog article on this and people are uh, some guys are asking whether I can make it live or basically showcase how it works I decided it's a good chance to also showcase this and uh, see where it goes from there so there's a number of things that i'm going to be working on just to make sure it's fully functional and there's a few bugs that are currently there so these are things that i'm going to fix eventually over time like um one thing i've noted is while this one loads so i can show you this you have uh, the profit and loss chart which looks uh, when you load the page works okay for firefox but on chrome the data doesn't load so well that's for the profit and loss chart and i checked the json response and it comes back as a blank so i'm not so sure why that's happening sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't so i'm not sure if it's a server issue or a javascript issue so just to point out these there's a number of bugs that are in okay so in this case now it's now back to working normal there is normally so there was a point where it wasn't working so based on that okay I can consider that one to be uh, done and it's basically just resolved itself but there's a number of things that I actually want to improve on this mainly is giving any user who logs in the ability to trade so basically you may want to vary the amount of money that you want to trade with let's say more than a thousand dollars let's say you want to put mock 
100,000 and in between that time period you can decide to buy more or sell more because you may feel uh, the trading system isn't going in what your gut instinct is telling you so that's one thing that you want to play with and at the same time you want to pause the trading uh, trading system where the internal trading logic just pause it uh, work it on your own and pause it so there's a number of features I want to think of adding on top of this but more importantly I want to get this trading system and the accuracy it's going to be giving here because you see here there's going to be a prediction accuracy and when the system is live this is going to show the prediction accuracy in a percentage so I want to get that as high as possible and I'm going to be tinkering around with this um, going in with the little assumptions just basically letting the data uh, guide me on whatever method that actually seems to work so with that in mind in the next couple of weeks to come I'm going to be doing a number of changes on this and uh, keep tuned and uh, you can use this it's practically free to use and uh, if you have any input that you want to add to this I'm more than welcome to listen okay so trading has started for the day and now it's now starting to receive information I just wanted to show you how now it should look when you start using it during the trading period so as you can tell here the trading has dipped by a certain amount let's say about a dollar so also in the same way you'll be able to see that the trading that you're doing has also dipped and here you get your own prediction chart so it's basically saying in then it's in its next prediction uh, it's predicting that the stock will actually go up so this is another thing I'm going to actually work on they should have been green and this one should have been red but that's just a quick fix and uh, additionally what it's doing here it's sending a request after every one minute so after every one minute it does a request and I can tell here what the last price was, what the current price is, how many stocks that I've bought, in this case it's 34, how much cash I have remaining. So this is cash that I can use to buy new most uh, buy more stocks. So practically or basically just use almost all the all the cash that I had to buy stocks in this case. So I practically can't buy any more stocks in this case. And um so if there was an action taken like let's say buying or selling stocks you should have it would come here and additionally you're getting your last prediction so zero means it's going to go down so in this case what this means is probably that i've switched the order of these two and uh total prediction so in this case how many predictions have come in and the prediction accuracy so here getting a zero total means that the last three predictions that came in all of them are wrong and that doesn't uh, concern me too much because uh, generally speaking as I said in the uh, previous to this this is now the beginning and I'm going to be doing a number of changes to it so I expect uh, the next few changes will actually improve its accuracy over time I have a couple of ideas to do that but basically that's what I have in mind so as you can see here continually to predict that the stock will go down and which in reality here let me just check from here yes it is going down so that's actually interesting to see that the, uh, the accuracy is sticking to zero because according to this the reality is the stocks have been going down so I don't expect the accuracy to increase or basically be something because it's not like it's going up so probably there's something here I need to look into into how the math works here but uh, basically this is a working version now so now from here moving forward it's tweaking fixing bugs making sure that it works uh, perfectly